you can see, we are back working on the mystery project, yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's been a mystery project. There's a lot of comments, and I really appreciate you guys. In the last video, we were saying, hey, put in the comments what you guys think this is, what you guys think this is. There's a lot of wrong guesses, mm -hmm. but there were some correct guesses, guys. Yes. So we're going to be trying to build this. It was raining almost all day yesterday. The wind was blowing. It was crazy. Yeah. We wanted to get back on this project right away the next day, but we couldn't. So we're back at it again now. Yeah. We just got done leveling it out. Everything's cut and ready to go, so it shouldn't take too long now. This was a, one of the hardest parts was getting it all level. Yeah, it's for today, I think. And cutting everything like we did on the last video. That took all day. Yeah. So I'm ready to get on it, so I say let's get it, guys. Yeah. Well, I don't have anywhere level, so I gotta use this. <laughs> well, this is level. Yeah, I don't have any ground yeah. level. I believe. Okay. Right on. Just had to level, it was weird. <laughs> when you flip that board around. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... I remember this from somewhere. Don't know where. Are you ready for the next step? Yeah, got these done. You guys kind of maybe could tell what they are. <laughs> I think these go up here like this. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe up on top. Yeah, those look we'll about see. right. <laughs> yeah. I put a couple screws in this though. No, I will. Okay. Now this one we have to push the post. Yep. That's we're going to square it out with this thing. Okay, so. You guys kind of guessing what it is yet? It's a wedding chapel. Just kidding. It's not a wedding chapel. I'm kidding. 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 But it's going to have a roof. Fold it up and screw it in. With my right hand like this. Let me get my shard. Yeah. I just hold it up and fall. Careful. Should line up right to the edge. Should be squared out, right? So it should be. Oh, it. Can't that lose this. Good. Cannot lose this. I need it. You guys can tell it's gonna have a roof on it. So it's something that's covered. Mm -hmm. But what? What could be covered? I don't know, maybe a shed? A shack? A fishing shack? I don't, know. I don't know, but it's looking so nice so far. Like once we put the, I'll say it, the rafters on, uh, it kind of really made it kind of starting to come to life, you know, makes it look really nice. I like it. <laughs> I think this is like the halfway point right here. Yeah, we're almost done, guys. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. So kind of another little hint there if we're already almost done. Time to get some more materials for the next part of this build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. Getting towards the end, guys. <sighs> this has been a fun build so far, quite honestly. Oh, yeah. It's a little stressful this morning when the sun 
was not leaving me be. Yeah, and trying to level it out was kind of frustrating. Yeah, all they were doing, the sun was just, as we're leveling out, was like, oh, you want to be in the shade? You don't want to sweat your butt off? You want this humidity? Cool, no problem. Yeah. I got you, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so we got some more two by fours. These are the uh, one by sixes. Mm -hmm. Guys, we brought everything down here. Yeah, this is the last this of This is all the wood that we need left. Grab those. Can you guys imagine what these are for? One by six. Mm. A flooring, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and the chigger is on me. I don't know if you guys can see it. See it right there crawling? See that? That's a chigger. You want to slap that chigger for me? Real quick, you see it? You get it? It's right there. Smush it. It's dead. I got it. Just making sure. I'm going to be tore up today. I already know it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, the last time we went down here, I did. I got chewed up. Pretty yeah, I'm bad. Gonna, I'm going to be chewed up. I already know it. Yeah, you get it worse than I do. Maybe I should grab some of these, too. I'm going to grab three of them, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Maybe I can do it. Taking some woods into the woods. Yeah. I've talked about this before. Some people have gave me some of their advice or opinions about building a cabin back here. Totally off subject from what we're doing today. But people will say it's gonna take a hugely immense amount of like pines and different things to build a cabin out here. I do agree. I do think we have enough pines out here to grab the ones I need and the log cabin that I do wanna build out here guys it's going to be a dry cabin, first off. And it's not going to be that big. I literally want it to be like Thunderdome size. Right around there. But I have so much research I need to do before I can even remotely think about cutting a tree down and starting that project because I am clueless right now. Luckily, we do have the bearded carpenter around here. <laughs> Paul so I would love to pick his brain when the time comes because he is a pro and you guys should see the amazing things he does and he does it all like old school log cabins so Beautiful. I'm gonna pick his brain when the time comes well I don't know whose idea it was not to bring the side-by-side -side over here me because it was too heavy yeah no this I... is the heaviest load I think I mean it was like when we had that gravel yeah, it was pretty bad. I mean, well, the side-by-side -side is like going... Err. Yeah, we had a lot of wood. <laughs> we had the um, pavers in there. Well, it's just everything. It's too much. It was too heavy, so I didn't want to... I know. Jump across and then yeah, get and on then, this side. Well, we would have jumped across. The reason why I didn't come up here, guys, look. I'm going to show you. So right here, on this side of the creek, whenever... <laughs> We come up here, look at this, look at this. You see this divot right here? Oh yeah. So, I drive up that. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you guys see it? It's like, <laughs> the tires are going, bro. So I was scared we'd be going and it would go up because we're at the hill and then we'd go uh, and yeah. flip backwards because it's so heavy in the back. Yeah, that, and I was worried about things just sticking on the wood that's sticking out over the roof, you know? Yeah. So many leaves in the creek bed. Babe. There's so many leaves in that creek bed. Oh, I know. Well, I know that, you said it earlier. Yeah. But now I'm storm. now I'm looking at it. I'm like, man. Yeah, that windstorm <laughs> last yesterday just totally blew almost every single leaf off all the trees. Last three. Right here. You couldn't be a one trip person today? Yeah, I no. Hey. I said we needed to get more exercise. I think we're getting it today. Yeah, we're definitely getting more <laughs> Down here is where I want to clear next, guys. That roadway leads around the pond, which is going to be nice. I think Gary, he actually put a shooting range down there, I think. Yeah, he said he removed a lot of the trees that were in the way. Yeah, for the shooting range? Yeah, just only so far, not all the way. Yeah. All right. Doesn't that look so nice, guys, when you just walk up that hill and you see our pond? Mm. I love it. Thank you. Right. you want to grab these ones for me real quick? Yeah. If you don't mind. 
Because I'm one-handed with this camera too. Oh, it's like a spider. Yeah, oh, there's creepy, <laughs> creepy colors everywhere. <laughs> All right. Let's get this going. Yeah. Mark each. I'll make sure that one's over there. I marked that one too. I'm just gonna put one screw in for right now. Get these ones started. There we go. Where's the mark for the half inch? Or you didn't mark it? I did. Oh, I see it. I see it. First roofing slat on. Did you guys know what that's what they're for? <laughs> the roof. Yeah, this is the roof. The roof is on fire. Yeah, it's kind of a rustic vibe to it with this roof. Yep. Maybe it's an outhouse. Well, we do need one of those here. <laughs> the easiest roof thing I've done. <laughs> Better than metal? Yes. Easier than metal. Oh, you know what? I kind of like the look of it though. It looks I nice. do too. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Okay. You guys are wondering, we're doing a half inch overlap on these so the water runs off. And these plans are weird because they do not call for a ridge cap. Right, the board just go up like that, and they're like, oh, butt it up so the water doesn't get in. But you guys know that water will get in there if you just put some boards up like that. So I think I'm gonna go back to the house when we're done here and try to see if we can find something to make a ridge cap, like some corrugated metal or some leftover um, uh, skirting or something. But it's not that wide. So I just make a little ridge cap so we really know it doesn't leak inside. when I'm on the ladder guys okay. okay this roof's coming out really good yeah I love it yeah it's coming out nice I love it yeah all right we got let's see one two three four five six seven so the next one I'll be able to overlap a bunch which is good maybe that's how you get the ridge Money. But there's a new problem. I'm getting poked now. Can you get all the vines out of the trees? Okay. You want me to cut those down maybe for you? Uh, yeah, where's my machine? Yeah, yeah. Let me get out of your way. Just those cedar ones right there, real quick. A vine? Yeah, I don't think you want that. No, I don't want that vine. Like cut rid of this tree cedar. <laughs> what? I said we could probably just get rid of this. I know. I'm, I've, I already seen it, and I was like, no, I'm gonna get it, but I don't want to get my chainsaw right now. So yeah, no. we'll leave it for right now. <laughs> Those two 
two by fours out, but we're not there yet. This thing will probably be down here a lot longer than you and I will be around. It might, uh, you know, depending. Uh. Would eventually dry rocks, but yeah. this is all treated, so it should last. This should last at least ten years. Yeah. Pro I mean, so we'll be around longer than ten years, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, we got other plans. I mean, we're gonna paint it. I think seal it. At least we're gonna seal do it. something to it, right? Yeah, to help kind of make it last even longer. Yep. That's the plan. Oh, you're for me, Vine. Oh, I just got those. You can probably rip that one out. Here, bend this tree down. This tree is the bane of my existence. You're right. Now give me my machete. Stuck on the branch up there. That's alright, look at That's alright, that's alright. Right. Okay. I need more screws. Realistically, if you look underneath of it, right, when you come down, when you look in here, I don't really see a lot of, I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, you might be able to put some, like, silicone up in there. I ain't doing none of that stuff. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if I put some silicone on top up here, it wouldn't leak. No, but then might water get trapped in there. Yeah. I'm building it to the plans. Yeah. Whatever the plan said to do, that's what I'm doing. I'm not changing nothing. Like I said, we're building it exactly how the plans that we got said. So I do think we're gonna put like a little ridge cap or something on it, just to make sure right here where these boards butt up. See, there's a little tiny <laughs> gap. I probably could have butted that one up more, actually. Maybe I'll do that. Probably. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, yeah, I'll butt it up more. But I mean, water will leak in through here just a little, little bit. Yeah. But it won't fall directly on you. No. That's how the plans say to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna move that up just a little tiny bit, but. I think this is coming out amazing. Yeah, look at, I mean, just in the inside of it. Just, it looks very nice. Yeah. It totally changes the whole feel with that roof put on. It does. It's starting to actually look like something now. The middle needs to be butted up more. Well, do what you can. That looks good. Oh, that looks really good. sunlight coming through. Oh, there's a little bit on this end, but it's not like it was. No, that's all right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that is a lot better. I well, like I said, this is what the plan said to do. Just bottom up. So that's what I did. Yeah. Because this isn't supposed to be 100% like leak proof or nothing. I mean, obviously it's a roof. Yeah. You want it, not water to come in here. That's the point of it. Yeah. But I think this will definitely keep you out of the rain. Yeah. So any idea, guys, now that we have the roof put on, there's only, yeah, there's only a couple more things to do, guys. Yeah, two more things we got to add to this. So any ideas, comment below and let me know right now what you think it is, just based on what you see. 
which is more than you saw last week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> more of a kind of a, a layout plan. I mean, it looks really good on top, but then when you get down, you're kind of like, I don't get it. All right, let's get these. All right. up against there oh, yeah. you're gonna have the three and a half inches or whatever it is right Could be a skunk. Quick, find Ghost and Mora. It's that one skunk. I'm getting payback. <laughs> it's revenge. <laughs> pretty much on par. It's pretty level. This one's actually a little spec higher than this one. Well, I can see it's up a little bit. Okay, let's bring it down. Precise, precise, you know? Yeah, yeah, for placement. 